Have you ever pondered the question whether you should buy or whether you should lease a car? Let's take some time and go over the pros and cons of buying a car and some of the pros and cons of leasing a car. Ultimately, the decision between buying and leasing a car depends on your individual circumstances, your financial situation, and your preferences. Each option has its own advantages and its own disadvantages. Here's a breakdown of both buying and leasing. Let's start with some of the pros of buying a car. When you buy a car, you outright own it once you pay the loan off. You can keep the car for as long as you want without incurring any mileage restrictions or any sort of lease terms. Over the long term, buying a car might be more cost effective than leasing. Once the loan is paid off, you only need to cover maintenance and repair costs. Since you own the car, you can modify or customize it as you please. There are no mileage restrictions, so you can actually drive as much as you want without incurring any extra charges. Now let's go over some of the cons of buying a car. Buying a car typically requires a larger down payment and a higher monthly payment compared to leasing. Cars generally depreciate in value over time, and when you own the car, you bear the full brunt of that depreciation. While you own the car, you're responsible for maintenance and repairs once the warranty expires. Now let's cover some of the pros of leasing a car. Lease payments are usually lower than loan payments, making it an attractive option for those who want a new car with lower upfront costs. Since lease terms are typically around two to three years, you'll constantly be driving a newer vehicle with the latest features and technologies. Most leases cover the car under the manufacturer's warranty, meaning you're not responsible for any major repair costs. Also, one of the easiest things is at the end of the lease term, all you do is simply return the car and choose a new lease, avoiding the hassle of selling any used car. Now let's cover some of the cons of leasing a vehicle. Lease agreements come with mileage restrictions. If you exceed the allotted mileage, you have to pay extra fees. At the end of the lease, you don't own the car unless you choose to buy it. You will have to buy the car at the predetermined residual value. You may be charged for any excessive wear and tear on the vehicle also when returning it. Over the course of many years, Leasing multiple cars might end up costing more than just buying one and keeping it for a longer period of time. In summary, if you value driving a car with lower monthly payments and enjoy the convenience of upgrading every few years, leasing might be a good choice for you. On the other hand, if you want long-term ownership, the flexibility to customize your vehicle and potentially save money in the long run, buying could be more suitable for you. It's important to assess your financial situation, your driving habits, and preferences before making any decision. I hope this information helps you decide whether buying versus leasing a car is right for you. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this.